News 5's Peter Albrecht joins us in the studio now to tell us more about the legendary career of this man. And we've been scouring the WKRG archives, and actually Mel's reporting goes back further than our video archives. Yeah. They only go back to 1975. <laughs> but what can you say about someone who has nearly 50 years in the profession, all in one city, all at one station? It is unheard of. It's remarkable. It's amazing. It's fantastic. It's Mel. Here's a quick look back at his career. The allegations of wrongdoing, but I guess we lucked out. Man was observed. The hairstyles have changed over the almost 50 years. Some schools in our area are closing early tomorrow. But the dependability and credibility have not. And I'm Mel Showers. The storms that produced flooding in Dallas. It was at the recently torn down WKRG building in downtown Mobile that Mel Showers went to work as a booth announcer in 1969. Four years later, Mel would become a reporter. But yesterday's fire at the medical center where the doctors were to be employed. This is the oldest existing video of a Mel Showers report from July 1975. Here's another from that summer. The proposal submitted by President Ford would make legal the sale of the handgun with at least a four and a half inch barrel, which would make it less concealable, and to make unlawful the sale of the infamous Saturday night special. Mel would continue reporting from across the area and also do occasional fill-in work on the anchor desk. From WKRG TV, the Gulf Coast leading news station, this is News Center 5. Good evening. Jack Kendrick has taken off tonight. He was a little ill. I'm Mel Showers. It's been a very tragic day in the news. Two people have died as the result of fires and two the result of traffic accidents. One of those is our lead story. In those early years, Mel would do a little bit of everything, including sports. The play in question was the one where defensive back Benny Barnes was called for tripping wide receiver Lynn Swan. And even weather. The weather was supposed to get a lot worse today, but I guess we lucked out. Immediately after Hurricane Frederick, Mel was at Gulf Shores talking with homeowners. Yes, we're going to build back. We've lost four businesses here, and we most certainly will build back. We plan to build back just as soon as we can. What are you trying to do now? Now, just uh, to save the furniture and as much as we can of the back part of the house. In 1981, Mel became co-anchor of Morning News Center 5, while still reporting from across the area and state. And we're, we're back, of course. Welcome to our special one-hour edition of News Center 5 on this program. In 1990, Mel became Evening News Anchor, the position he's held ever since. For the last 30 years, Mel Showers has been there for you at 6 and 10 p.m. every night. And for the last 17 years with Roseanne Haven, Alan Seals, and Randy Patrick. In 2016, <laughs> Mel was inducted into the Alabama Broadcasters Association Hall of Fame. And now next month, Mel will go into a well-deserved retirement. And we found a lot of great Mel stories from the 1970s, and you can find them on our website, WKRG.com. And we'll be showing a number of those stories on our newscast as well here over the uh, next couple of weeks as we celebrate Mel's career, his great career here at WKRG.